Good morning, friends. Welcome to another broadcast of Bethel Exusa Ministry, where we seek to rightly divide the word of truth. This morning, I want to bring to you a word called the Divine Connection. Shall we pray? Dear God of heaven and earth, we praise and magnify you. We come to you through no other name than your son, Yeshua Hamashiach. Jesus Christ, our Messiah and our Lord. Father, we thank you for your infallible word. We thank you for your life-giving word. And this morning we ask you to speak to us through your word and transform us by your spirit. May our hearts hear and obey. May your minds understand. May our spirit receive. And may we live out what we have learned through your word. Father, grant now that the words of my mouth the thoughts of my heart will be acceptable in your sight, in Yeshua's holy name. Amen. This morning I want to share with you from the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 1. And I want to share with you from verses 39 through to uh, 45. And it says, Now Mary arose in those days and went to the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary and the babe that the babe in her the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as, this, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is he who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her by from the Lord. This is Yahweh's holy word. You know, it's an amazing occurrence and I always am always fascinated by it. Now the background of this is that the angel Gabriel or Gabriel appeared to Zacharias and told him that he and his wife, old as they were, and barren as Elizabeth was, would have a special child. And in verse, uh, a previous verse here, verse 15, it tells us that this child, which should be named John, would be anointed, would be filled with the spirit from his mother's womb. And I believe, and here it is now, that Elizabeth, though she was cousin to Mary, when she went there, Mary Elizabeth was already um, six months pregnant with John. The miracle had already taken place. Now, just a sideline here, notice that Zachariah and Elizabeth had to do something. After the prophecy, they had to do something for the baby to be conceived, yes? Um, sometimes God gives us some prophecy, some declarations as to what must happen in our lives. But we are sitting back waiting on it to happen without doing the part that we must do. Faith shows, action shows faith. James says without faith, work is dead. Right? And similarly, I would say that work without faith is also dead. But you can't have faith and don't show it by what you do. Alright? Just a side thought. Now, Elizabeth, when Mary went to Elizabeth's house and greeted her. The Bible said that Mary, Elizabeth was surprised. What is this happening to me? Some preachers say that the baby was dead, that was moving all this while, and Elizabeth was worried. We don't know that of a fact. That's not recorded in Scripture. But what is certain is that the prophecy that this child will be filled with the Spirit from in the womb, I think it happened right here. The minute the voice of Mary greeted Elizabeth and that baby, spirit met spirit because Jesus was in Mary's womb. He was a gift of the Holy Spirit. He was already conceived by the Holy Spirit in Mary. Yes? And so he was the spirit of God himself, epitomizing flesh. Hallelujah. And the Bible declares that as soon as Elizabeth 
heard the voice of Mary, her the baby leapt in her womb. And now, of course, the baby can't talk. But Mary Elizabeth began to speak. Look at what happened there. It says that uh, the baby leaped in Elizabeth's womb and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. She was taken over. To be filled with the Spirit means to be taken over in full control of the Holy Spirit. And the baby in Elizabeth could not speak, but the woman began to speak on behalf of that child. Now look at what happened here. Then she spoke with a loud voice, said, Blessed are you among women. That's the same thing that the angel said to her. Yes, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth knew Mary all this while as her cousin. She's her younger cousin. And I'm sure they would have met each other many times. They would have greeted each other. And this occurrence never happened before. But the minute, no, the, 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 Mary was pregnant with the Lord of our world, the Lord of our life, the Savior of the world. And the minute she spoke, divine revelation came out of of elizabeth i am reminded of when jesus asked them who do men say that i am and when everybody else had something different to say about what do people say about yeshua yeshua turned to them and whom do you say that i am the son of man am and everybody went silent and peter spoke up thou art the christ the son of the living god jesus turned to him and said flesh and blood did not reveal that to you but but my father which is in heaven I could say it another word. He had a divine connection. Beloved ones, in these times and more than more, no more than ever, we need to have that divine connection. There are so many teachings out there, so many doctrines and voices speaking to us. And unless we are we have the spirit of God living completely on the inside of us unless we have the spirit of god in control of our lives then many are going to say things and do things and we are and we are going to be misled we need to have the spirit of god living so so much inside of us that we will experience the divine connection i love what psalm 42 says deep calleth unto deep Yes, there must be something inside of you that connects with somebody who is also connected with the Holy Spirit. Beloved ones, when somebody is speaking life-giving words, uh, uh, Jesus was speaking some word to some people. And when, when they were offended and they walked away, Yeshua turned to his disciples and said, Will you not also go? Again, Peter spoke up. Peter had divine connection. Peter said, Look here, to whom shall we go? You alone have the word of eternal life. Come on now. After Jesus' resurrection and the and, and, and the and two disciples were walking, talking about the happenings. And when Jesus drew up beside them, they never recognized him at first. He went home with them and he broke bread with them. And the minute he broke bread with them, the Bible said that he had already opened up all the scriptures and showed them the things that were to happen, that they were all spoken of. In the holy scriptures and the bible said that when he broke bread and disappeared that's when they realized that it was him but hear what they said salient point don't miss it they said did not our hearts burn within us as he spoke to us beloved ones i don't know about you but i want that burning inside of me i want that fire to be lit inside of me when somebody is divinely connected i want to be so divinely connected that when they speak there's something in me that leaves the baby the spirit of god inside of me must leap and be a witness hallelujah hear what the bible says about john that the baby leaped the minute i heard your voice the baby leaped inside of me huh Verse 44, for as soon as the, the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. You know what the word of God says? Same John, when he was born, later on when they questioned him, he said, I am just the friend of the bridegroom. I am not the bridegroom. I am the friend of the bridegroom. And the bride, the friend of the bridegroom rejoice at the bridegroom's voice. Hallelujah. He rejoiced to see the bridegroom being celebrated. Listen, the Bible teaches, Jesus said in his word that when the Holy Spirit comes, when he, when he sends the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will be a witness of him, Yeshua. 
The Holy Spirit is not here to exalt himself. He is here to exalt the Son, the living God, revealed in flesh. And so, beloved ones, when somebody is speaking with the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and he, he must, he or she must be glorifying Yeshua, the Holy Son, the Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Amen. And so when you are connected with the Spirit of God, when that person is connected, there is a witness in your very inner being, your core of your spirit, that this person is speaking with the anointing, speaking with the connection, the divine connection from heaven. Let us pray for that. Because as I said before, and I'll repeat, Many false teachers, many doctrines are out there and we need to have the Spirit of God living on the inside of us so that when the truth is spoken, our spirits will be a witness. Likewise, when the error is being spoken, our spirit will be a witness that this is not of God. No man speaking by the Spirit of God called Jesus Christ accursed. May God connect us, connect us divinely together with him and with each other. God bless you. Let us think on these things.